All right, this is the Oz report for April 9th, 2022. Ex excuse my voice. Um, I, I have a, a pretty severe cold today. So uh, trying to hang in there, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's getting more and more difficult. Um, let's, let's start with the hunt event uh, that is going on uh, this weekend. Um, there's, there's a few things that, that have a market impact there. Um, one is we have new cerebral accelerators out there uh, and as you know from from my stream uh, I always compare them in 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 price to the other cerebral accelerators that are in the game and so right now if we look at the the Guri Kikiva um, cerebral accelerators that are um, that are now active for the hunt event and that are um, that expires sometime in June, I think. Their price right now is quite cheap compared to the Cerebral Accelerators from previous events. So they're not going crazy yet, especially if you look at the on the buy side. So this is my this is my usual call for investors. If you guys want to invest your money, put in, put out buy orders for these Cerebral Accelerators. They are quite cheap. If uh the the thing happens that usually happens with these events they the price will drop as the event ends the price will rise again this is a fairly short event so there will be a very limited number of cerebral accelerators out there the the skill injectors and expert and master at arms cerebral accelerators which are the substitute goods for these they're all expensive and rising in price right now so I think it's a good time to get into these. So um, uh, not not a steal at all on the sale side, but remember people actually loot these and try to liquidate them on the market so you could um, fairly easily get them on, a, on the buy side. So that's the basic extended and the potent Guri Kikiva Cerebral Accelerators. Now let's talk um, just like the last weeks about the C3 modules. And this is exactly what I was talking about um, in the in the previous weeks, right? We we see the event hit and the market for these uh, crashes. Um, this is a you know this is completely um, predictable because this is the event where these drop in and they're all very very popular uh, modules. So you know go in here, put your buy orders out there, buy these, sit on them, sell them later in the year. You can even see here, not all of this volume right here is people actually looting them. A lot of that is also people panicking because they forgot to sell last year's stock and they forgot to liquidate it throughout the year and now they're sitting on them. So um, even if you had, if you had these uh, laying around, now is not the time to sell, now, now is the time to buy. Uh, if you have these laying around, don't worry about it, sit on them, wait and sell them later in the year. Uh, it's they're 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 fantastic even for your own use it's good to have these these lying around now let's talk about some uh some other things that are dropping for example gecko bpcs are dropping if you're looking at the gecko the gecko is a very very popular high damage drone and the typical price is always around 100 million Right. right now, you're seeing here there's a very big margin on geckos between 94 million and 108 million. And the reason for that is because a lot of people will get these BPCs. Maybe they will even produce them if they if they you know feel like it, or they will sell the BPC on the market. If you look at the market for gecko blueprints, you can already see that the prices are starting to drop. The cheapest one on the market right now is 65 million in Dodixie, and that's probably gonna get worse. The build price for these is around 20 million. So if you get the blueprint for 65 and you you put the 20 in, you're at 85, and then you want to make a 10, 20% margin on them, subtract tax, and that's how you get to a reasonable price for these. If you want to <clears throat> make that, excuse me, make that uh, that that calculation for yourself uh, in 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 your head. So expect these to drop in price. 108 is still a fairly high price. Um, you want to buy these on, on, on the buy order side around 90 million right now, 94 million is a totally fine price to, to buy the, these at. Or if you want to be adventurous, you can also start up buying up some of the blueprints because those will also rise in price, but that's a little bit more difficult to liquidate later on. 
that's geckos um let's talk about hyd hydras I, I said this earlier on my on my stream implants um hydra implant bpcs are dropping <clears throat> and uh this this should mean that prices are dropping we're just not seeing that happening right now that much and that the reason for that uh, i gather is that <clears throat> excuse me is that the the neither the demand nor the amount of bpcs is very high dropping in game so the market impact isn't that high so this is not not that interesting what is interesting is if you look at the items that are used to build uh, hydra implants and that's um, you know transcranial um, microcontrollers for example and those have absolutely spiked in price my guess would be this isn't necessarily someone <clears throat> building them all this is also somebody um uh this is also somebody speculating on the hydra bpcs dropping and trying to restrict the amount of um raw materials in the market and maybe making a buck of it regardless i don't think the hydra implants are where you need to look because they they're not gonna they're just not big enough markets to have a big 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 market impact but if you're wondering why for example transcranial controllers or even synthetic synapses are uh, exploding that is because um of the hydra implants dropping uh, by the way implants are also dropping from or have a chance to drop from uh from your 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 capsule um from your clone uh, for the duration of the event so that might have an impact on the cyber implant prices overall so have have a look out for um either on the killboard or if you have a market dashboard on various prices for cyber implants dropping and maybe you can make a, a good buck on that as well uh, especially on the very popular implants um, some of those might pick them up for cheap and sell them or for for a higher price later in the year let's talk about ships that are being used so the the ships that really went up in price because they're being used a lot or speculated upon are for example the flycatcher the hawk you can see the they 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 really really spiked in price and volume the kikimora for sure the retribution those are all very popular ships used in the hunt sites um or at least a selection of them if you have those li lying around all of most of those have been dropping in price quite significantly so right now would be a time to liquidate those if you want to limit limit your losses so have a um uh, have a look at that and that's that's i think about it for the hunt event let me just mention a few other things besides the hunt defense uh, hunt event that are going on um our our four moon goo we talked about that last week our four moon goo is is interesting right now because one you know very very much uh, increased in the game very much uh, dropping in price right now um we saw price drops you know atmospheric gases evaporate deposits you see here hydrocarbons silicates they all have been uh, dropping in price very very significantly because the amount available in game and the amount being mined as we see from the mer is is increasing by by a lot now the unfortunate side effect for us traders is that maxilon and pyrite um, are two minerals that are also byproducts of r4 moon mining and so you know people going out and moon mining like crazy has also crashed the price for pyrite and maxilon now um you know a few people were asking earlier okay what does this mean for my investment in these on on pyrite <laughs> on pyrite uh, i actually expected the the battleship boost or the battleship um uh you know the, the the forgetting the word but you know what i mean the 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 patch that we had on battleships um power being increased uh have a positive impact on the demand for pyrite but uh, none of it none of none of those small things can compare to the amount of uh, the amount of r4 moon goo being mined and therefore also pyrite and maxilon uh, entering the system and right now this is just a you know a, a a crashing price without much of a bottom now 
if we're looking at pyrite for example coming from you know 15 to 20 uh crashing down below 10 that is um that is an insane crash the crash on that is much higher than the crash that we've seen on moon goo so um might be that that's a, an overreaction so you know at some point this might this might become a um uh, a, a good investment right now it's still dropping very very quickly though and same on 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 maxilon maxilon um was increasing for for a long time but now we're seeing um you know the, we're seeing the same the same on maxilon i think maxilon has a has a has a way to drop down uh or maxilon has a has a way to go on the way down pyrite i can't imagine it it can um it can go down much more all right Switching to R64, Promethium had been holding on really, really strong. So Promethium was one of the one of the few moon materials that was not uh, uh, that was not dropping in price dramatically. Now it has. This past week, Promethium has dropped a lot, and this uh, has has an impact. So Promethium is one of the um, one of the reaction materials for Ferrogel, for example. One of the one of the high volume advanced moon materials this drop will have a an impact on this ferro gel had been recovering quite nicely last week but what we saw is we saw an insane amount being dropped to buy orders so if you look at ferro gel today oh you know this is this is a a trade item that where you can get buy orders fulfilled, but you can also get sell orders fulfilled. So this is this is a normal high volume trade item, uh, quite good if you're if you're investing lots of money. Uh, the margin is insane from 22 to 28, right? So this is a, this is a a 30 percent margin on it. And what caused that, if you look at the volume side, is somebody uh, liquidating about five times the daily volume on one day right here to buy orders as you can see by that orange dot way on the bottom so ferrogel right now get a buy order out there if you can if you can get some ferrogel for 22 um that is a a, a very very good price just beware that uh, right now it's being dragged down uh, anyway because of, of Promethium. And my guess would be that whoever is whoever cr just crashed the Promethium price uh, is also crashed the Ferrogel price. So I I didn't I don't think I had enough buy orders out there to confirm who that is, um, but it just looks to me like that is somebody going in and just dropping large amounts of these into the market. Now somebody somebody was talking about droggers earlier and why droggers have um, have absolutely taken off in price. It's not just the drogger, and ironically we talked about this last week uh, and and a few weeks ago because zero point field manipulators were just um, uh, uh, just um, you know crashing in price. Let me reiterate: zero point field manipulators are components for tier 2 triglavian ships and for something like the nurgle or the ikatursa they make up like 50 percent of the ship price uh, and I, you know i've said this uh, a thousand times because I, I i love trading in these what we're what we've seen this week is we've seen the price for zero point field manipulators just absolutely take off um and you can see that this this went back to about 500 million if you look at the current price not only is there almost none left, but it went absolutely crazy to 550. And if you remember that that these have a huge impact on any tier two Triglavian ships, then you're not surprised looking at the Draugr, um, looking at Ikatursa, looking at the Nurgle, looking at the Zarm. Those are all ships that are heavily Im impacted by this. And so now um, I'm guessing this is a mix of yes these ships being popular maybe the drogger being popular for for the hunt but also somebody speculating on on building these i think you know it's the impact the impact is too too quick on for example the drogger um you know or the or the ikitursa it's almost uh, as if somebody went in and maybe said okay i'm going to buy up a bunch of the the zero point field manipulators and I'm also going to 
um, you know, buy up a whole bunch of the the Draugrs and the Nur Nurgles and cause a shortage for the for the event. That is some one one likely scenario that is happening. Uh, and now we're seeing, uh, you know, uh, all of that happening. The bottom line is, if you're holding any of the tier two Triglavian ships, or you're holding a lot of zero point field manipulator right now, is the time to liquidate that, for sure. Um, and then let me just finish off some some random observations. The core X type large armor repair, they're basically gone from the market. It's a very high volume. Uh, uh, dead space item and it's uh, it's basically gone so check check that out if you're talking about um uh if you're talking about the uh the high grade nirvana uh, uh o omega implant also that um uh, somebody bought out a whole bunch of them all at once you can see here somebody bought out like 30 billion worth on one day and that's spiking the price that results in not only a very very good margin but also a very high current sell price if you have high grade nirvana omegas laying around that right now is the, the time to sell those uh, same with the jackdaws the jackdaws have been going like crazy that is a a an alliance doctrine ship a large fleet ship i'm guessing that's why the availability is just not there and the finishing off with the proteus the proteus was buffed this week um a lot in the current patch and that's why the price kind of went nuts uh, it's stabilized at 240 now people are starting to um, put them up for 220 again anytime this happens you know this is not going to stick this is a very, very short term price spike because everyone sees it's buffed and wants to try it out it's going to go back down to the previous price because um, as i always say ship prices are governed uh, not by the patches or the popularity but simply by the raw materials the popularity of a ship uh, really has very little impact the popularity just means that more people are going to switch to it to produce it uh, but it's not going to have a long lasting impact on the the actual price of the ship okay uh thanks for sticking with me and my uh my 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 voice that is slowly fading away uh, we're going to going to probably wrap up the stream also uh, very very soon here. Uh, I will see you guys not next week. I'm out next week on vacation, but I'll see you guys in two weeks uh, for the new Oz report. All right, we're going to return to the regular stream. Thank you.